Welcome to Math to Find. I'm Mrs. C. Do you find the process of regrouping or borrowing with mixed numbers a little confusing? Well, then let me show you just how easy it can be. I like to start by rewriting my subtraction problem into this vertical format that you see here. I feel like doing this makes it easier to remember that you always subtract the fractions first and then the whole numbers. Before I begin subtracting, I always look at the denominators of the fractions. If they are the same as they are here, I can begin subtracting. I will just need to subtract the numerators of 1 minus 3. But wait, I can't subtract 3 from 1, so I will need to borrow from the whole number of 3. If I take away or borrow 1 from 3, that will reduce my whole number to a 2. Now, before I continue, I do want to show you a very common mistake that people make when borrowing from a whole number and giving it to the fraction. They take the one that they just borrowed and write it next to the one in the numerator. Now, it looks like our numerator has changed to an 11, and this is not the correct thing to do. Instead, I need to take the one that I just borrowed and rewrite it as an improper fraction and then add that to my fraction in the mixed number. So since my common denominator is a 4, my improper fraction will also have a denominator of 4. Then to make this fraction equivalent or equal to the one that I just borrowed, the numerator must be a 4 as well. Next I bring over the whole number of 2 and then I add the numerators of these two fractions to get 5 and keep the denominator of 4 the same to give me the equivalent fraction of 5 fourths. So my new mixed number after regrouping is 2 and 5 fourths. Then I bring over the mixed number of 1 and 3 fourths. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, please do give it the thumbs up, click the subscribe button along with that notification bell. Doing these two things really does make a difference for the channel, so thank you so much. All right, now I will use this equivalent mixed number of 2 and 5 fourths to subtract. I need to subtract the numerators of the fractions first. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and we will keep the denominator of 4 the same to give me the fraction of 2 fourths. Next, I will subtract the whole numbers. 2 minus 1 is 1, which gives us our answer or our difference of 1 and 2 fourths. Our last step is to simplify. We need to look at the fraction of our mixed number. If that fraction is improper, or if the numerator and denominator share a common factor other than 1, then we can simplify it. If you're not sure of what improper fractions are and how to simplify them, be sure to check out this video about improper fractions. It will explain what they are and show you how to simplify them. In this case, our numerator and our denominator do share a common factor of 2. So I will divide both the numerator and the denominator by this shared factor. I don't want to forget my whole number of 1, so I will bring it over first and then divide by that common factor of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 and our simplified answer is 1 and a half. And don't forget, you can watch more of my math videos at Math Defined. And check out my playlist of fraction videos, including this one about subtracting mixed numbers with different denominators. Let me know which one was most helpful to you. I hope this video helped you with subtracting those mixed numbers. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.